overlapping figures, you really want to focus on shared angles, sides, or points. Uh, that is what the two shapes or three shapes that are overlapping have in common. Try to avoid introducing new points or uh, you know using uh, pieces of the figure that aren't related to each other. Let me show you a few examples. All right, so for number 11, this is the figure above a circle with center O is inscribed in a square of area 64 square inches. They want to know the circumference of the circle in inches, right? Um, well, we know that circumference is pi d or 2 pi r, so in order to find the circumference of this circle, we need to find the diameter or the radius, right? Um, now, the fir your first instinct may be to draw a line that looks like this, right? Because it would be sort of a diagonal of the square. And I see a lot of students drawing that, but that's a really bad line to start with. Why? Because this point and this point uh, are not common to the shapes, right? Uh, neither are these in this point. Focus instead on the points that have in common. So start with this point and this point, right? Or this point and this point. And then just draw a line straight over. And now we have a, uh, a line that's relevant to both shapes, right? It's the diameter of the circle, which is good because we need diameter. Uh, and it's also the um, length of the side of the square, right? So we know that the area of the square is 64 square inches, and we know that area is also S squared, so for S it's got to be 8. So this is 8, this is 8, so on and so forth. Um, which is great because now we know that the circumference is, I'm sorry, the diameter is equal to 8. So the circumference is again pi d, and that's simply 8 pi. Okay, so again, focus on uh, points that they share as opposed to uh, introducing new points, right? It's the same concept here. Uh, and these two triangles are overlapping each other, on top of each other. Um, and triangle ABC above, point D lies on the side AC, and point E lies on the side BC. Point side, uh, side AB is parallel to side DE, with the length of side DE. Fair enough, right? Um, so, again, focus on what they share. So, this big triangle and this little uh, triangle share this angle, right? So, say, okay. Triangles that share the same angles. What do I know about those? Uh, well, maybe I could look for more angles that they share. Well, they tell me that this is parallel to this, right? AB is parallel to um, DE, which means that this angle and this angle equal each other, right? And if these two angles are the same and these two angles are the same, then these two must be, right? And what do we know about triangles that have three equal angles, uh, they're similar, right? So this small triangle is similar to this big triangle. That means that the sides are proportional, right? So if we need to find side DE, which we'll label with an X, uh, we can find the proportion, right? So the proportion of DE to AB, which is eight, uh, X to eight rather, is the same as the short side here, six, to the long side here, eight, right? This whole thing's eight. Okay, so we get 8x equals 48, x equals 6. We're done. Piece of cake.